and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this monthly calendar in Word and also teach you how to customise each of the different blocks and cells for all of your different appointments and arrangements. So let's open a new document and the first thing we need to do is rotate our page. So go to layout, go to orientation and go to landscape and then also go to margins and select narrow. You can see my cursors at the top here. I'm just going to press the return key once, then go to insert, go to table, go to insert table. And here we're going to put number of columns is going to be seven and number of rows is also seven and then click OK. Now at the top here, we're going to merge this row completely. So select all of the cells. Go up to table layout and select this icon merge cells. Then we're going to type in our text, which is the name of the month. Then we're just going to select the word, go to the home tab, click center. Then go to this section here and increase the size of your font. You can choose any size you like. Then go to table layout. And here you can pick the alignment of all of your text. So I'm going to select this align to center and then I'm going to place my cursor anywhere in this cell in the table layout tab, go to height. And here we can adjust the height of that cell by selecting the up arrow. Just keep selecting it until you're happy with that height. Then the next row along here, we're going to insert all of the days of the week. Then once again, we're going to select this row, go over to align to center, and then increase the height of that row again by clicking on the up arrow. And we can also go to the home tab and increase the size of the text. You can select bold if you like, that's completely up to you. And then for these cells here, I'm just going to select them all. But before I put any text in, I'm just going to go back up to the height here and then just click and just keep clicking until those cells start to fill my page. Now, once they're all selected, I'm going to make sure I've got my alignment to top left. Then go ahead and just insert all the numbers. I'm just going to start with Monday. This could be any August of any year. So I'm just going to start with Monday. Okay, so once you've done that, just to let you know that I was just using my shift key just to move from one square to the next. That's your full calendar. And if you want to keep it like that, nice and basic, that's absolutely fine. But just to show you how you can customize this digitally. First thing is at the bottom here, we can merge these cells to make some notes. So go to table layout, merge. Then at the top here, we can place in the word notes and you can place any notes of the month you want down here. We can also select these cells, which are the weekends, weekend days. Go to table design, go to shading, and then you can select any color of your choice. I'm just going to choose a light gray. Then if you want to place some text in any of these cells, let's just choose this day here. Press the return key. Press it one more time, put in your text. And then if you want to just select this particular text, just go up to the home tab and then just select center. It will pop that text in the center. Then you can go up to table design. Then make sure the cursor is just flashing in that cell. Go to shading and put a, pick a color of your choice. And we can do the same down here. And then once again, table design, and you can of course change that color. So if you want a selection of multiple days, you can select all of these cells here. You can go up to shading. You can select a color of your choice. Let's just select a blue. Then you can go to insert text box, draw text box, and you can click and draw out the text box that runs 
all the way across each of those days. Place in your text, family holiday, select the text, go to the home tab and click center, increase the font size of that text. Doesn't matter how big you want it. I'm just gonna put another space between there. If I deselect it, you can leave it like that or you can take out the outline and change the color of the box. So select it, go to shape format, go to the outline, select no outline, go to shape fill and you can select the same color. If I deselect it, you can see it's run all the way across through here and cut through these lines. If you want to put the shadow on like it did before, select it, go to shape format, go to format pane, go along to this icon here, select shadow, presets and select a shadow of your choice, deselect. And there you can see it just stands out a little bit. If you want to create some bold outlines around some of the table, select this cell at the top here. We're gonna put an outline, a thicker outline around this cell. Go to table design, go over to here and select a slightly thicker line. It was originally one point. I'm going to select two and a quarter points. Go to borders and select outside border. You can see how that's affected that cell. Then click and drag across the whole of the bottom part of the table. Go up to borders. You don't need to click on the drop down because it's already selected outside borders. Just click and you'll see that border runs around the outside. And that's how you can customize those borders. So once you're finished, you can go ahead and you can save this as a PDF file, or you can save it as a Word file and continually customize it. Or alternatively, you can go to file and save it as a template. And that way you can just customize it for each month. You've got all of the tables and numbers in, and all you need to do is save it as a template. If you do that, just make sure you saved it in this templates file here and in your Microsoft Word templates. Then when you open your software, it will be there in your personal templates. When you've adjusted it, it will ask you to save it as a completely different document. So therefore not disturbing the original. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.